Today is the 26th day of the blessed month of Baramhat. May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility, while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, my fathers, and my brethren. Amen. On this day, St. Euphrasia, the Virgin, departed. This saint was born in the city of Rome to a noble family who was related to Emperor Honorius. Before her father's departure, he asked the emperor to look after her. After the repose of her father, her mother went to Egypt to collect the revenues and rent of her estates and orchards, which her husband had left her. She took her daughter, who was nine years of age, with her, and they lodged in one of the convents. The nuns of that convent were on a high degree of asceticism and piety. Euphrasia loved the monastic life and asked her mother to leave her in the convent. Because of her persistence and the sincerity of her intentions, her mother gave all her money and goods to the poor and needy, and she lived with her daughter in the convent for many years, then departed in peace. When Emperor Honorius heard that, he sent asking the saint to return to Rome. She answered back saying that she had vowed herself to the Lord Jesus Christ. The emperor marveled at her wisdom and righteousness in spite of her young age and allowed her to stay. Euphrasia condented in the ascetic life. She fasted days at a time. She wore sackcloth and slept on the floor. She dedicated time to study the holy scriptures along with incensed praising. Satan envied her and he smote her with an illness in her legs which gave her severe pain for a long time until God had compassion on her and healed her. God granted her the gift of healing the sick. She was beloved by all the sisters and the abbess for her humility and immense obedience to them. When her departure drew, drew near, she fell ill with a severe fever. The nuns gathered around her and she comforted and encouraged them. She raised her eyes toward the heaven, signed herself with the sign of the cross, then delivered her pure soul. The blessing of her prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also, of the year 1442 of the martyrs, Pope Peter, the 104th Patriarch of Alexandria, departed. This Holy Father was born in the city of Osiut to Christian parents. They called him Morgan and raised him with a Christian upbringing. The grace of God was upon him since his young age. He went and became a monk in the monastery of the Saint Amba Antonius. He exerted himself in prayers and reading the holy books. Pope Ioannis ordained him a priest and appointed him an abbot for the monastery of the great Saint Abba Paula, the first hermit. When Pope Ioannis, the 103rd Patriarch, departed and the patriarchal throne became vacant, the bishops, the priests, and the archons fasted and prayed, and the altar lot fell on this father. He was consecrated patriarch on the 17th of Masori, year 1434 of the martyrs. He shepherded the flock with the best of care, and he visited lower and upper Egypt, and the people of the country rejoiced. He consecrated bishops and built many churches. He emphasized that divorce only be granted in case of adultery. When he finished his good endeavor, departed in peace, and his flock wept for his departure. He was buried with great veneration in the tomb of the patriarchs and the church of the martyr Mercurius Abosophin in Old Cairo. The blessing of his prayers be with us, and glory be to God forever. Amen. Mm -hmm.